Welcome to the chapter on manufacturing processes. Understanding these processes is essential for transforming raw materials into finished products. In this chapter, we will explore the three primary manufacturing processes, machining, casting, and forming. Machining is a manufacturing process where a cutting tool removes material from a workpiece to shape it into the desired form. This process is widely used for producing parts with high precision and fine surface finishes. There are several types of machining processes, including turning, milling, and drilling. In turning, a cutting tool moves linearly while the workpiece rotates. This process is typically performed on a lathe and is used to create cylindrical parts. Milling involves a rotating cutting tool that moves along multiple axes to remove material from the workpiece. Milling machines can produce complex shapes and features. Drilling is the process of creating round holes in a workpiece using a rotating drill bit. It is one of the most common machining operations. The material removal rate, or MRR, in turning can be calculated using the formula MRR equals pi times the diameter of the workpiece, times the feed rate, times the depth of cut, times the spindle speed. For example, if a workpiece has a diameter of 2 inches, a feed rate of 0.01 inches per revolution, a depth of cut of 0.1 inches, and a spindle speed of 500 RPM, the MRR would be 3.14 cubic inches per minute. Casting is a manufacturing process in which a liquid material is poured into a mold and allowed to solidify into the desired shape. This process is suitable for producing complex shapes and large parts. There are several types of casting processes, including sand casting, die casting, and investment casting. In sand casting, a sand mold is used to form the desired shape. It is a versatile and cost-effective method for producing metal parts. Die casting involves forcing molten metal into a mold cavity under high pressure. This process is used for producing high volume, high precision parts. Investment casting, also known as lost wax casting, uses a wax pattern coated with a ceramic material to form the mold. It is ideal for producing intricate and detailed parts. The solidification time in casting can be estimated using Shvoronov's rule, which is given by the formula T sub S equals C times the volume of the casting divided by the surface area of the casting raised to the power of N. For example, if a casting has a volume of 100 cubic centimeters, a surface area of 50 square centimeters, a mold constant of 0.2 and an exponent of two, the solidification time would be 0.8 minutes. Forming is a manufacturing process that involves shaping materials, usually metals, through plastic deformation. This process does not remove material, but instead changes its shape. There are several types of forming processes, including forging, rolling, and extrusion. Forging involves shaping metal using compressive forces. It can be done at room temperature, known as cold forging, or at elevated temperatures, known as hot forging. Forging produces strong parts. Rolling is the process of reducing the thickness of a material by passing it through rollers. It is commonly used to produce sheets, plates, and foils. Extrusion involves forcing material through a die to create long shapes with a constant cross-section. It is used for producing pipes, tubes, and profiles. The forging force can be estimated using the formula F equals K sub F times the cross-sectional area of the workpiece. For example, if the flow stress of the material is 300 megapascals and the cross-sectional area of the workpiece is 50 square centimeters, the forging force would be 15,000 kilonewtons. Understanding machining, casting, and forming processes is fundamental for mechanical engineering students. These processes are crucial in manufacturing a wide range of products with different shapes, sizes, and materials. Mastery of these concepts will provide a solid foundation for more advanced topics in manufacturing engineering.